right, all you Programming One students, I want to sort of do a repeat. This is based on the Socrata's Hello World tutorial. And our work environment is a little different, so we're going to have to do it just similar, but a little different. We're going to start with command line, CMD. Hit enter. All right, so you click on there, CMD, and then go ahead and type Python. Opens up the Python. This is called the shell or the interactive session. And then you can do print hello shell and hit enter. And then you get the comment. So the Python command is the print, and you notice the parentheses, you have quotation marks, you write some text, and then it just spits that text back. You want to get out of Python, it's exit like this. Now, uh, when you're in here, um, you can do some command line entries. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to go out of this and we're going to do the rest in the git bash. Um, and the reason why is because if you type vim, it'll say vim is not recognized as an internal external command. I'd have to go into all the computers in the lab and install it, and I'm kind of lazy that way. So I'm just going to exit out of here, and then we're going to do git bash. So the rest of this is on git bash. And we're going to do some of these commands you could actually do in command line. Um, so, dir sends us a list of everything in the directory. Now, this folder right here, this is my username, and that's the computer name. So this little thing means we're at basically here. Okay. And so I'm going to go into documents, and what we're going to do is we're going to create um, a new folder for our Python examples. Make dir. And then I'm going to put documents slash Python examples. Now, if you use the underscore, things work. So let's go over here. Let's take a look. I have to go back and then forward. You'll see now Python examples there. Let's try it with the space and see if we can do that. Now, one of the things is we're in users folder. And so if I were to, I have to put the, the first folder, this first folder already exists. But what doesn't exist is this thing, Python examples. Hit enter. Now, the first one has an underscore. This one has a space. I'm going to do the space. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go forward. There is no Python examples with the space. But there are other folders that have spaces in it. So... This is how you get around that if you want to have a space. I don't recommend you do it, but in a document directory, as long as it's not part of a big project, you could theoretically do it. Oh, let me go back. I'm going to use a single quote. Double quote would work too. Like so. Then we go back, go forward. Now you can see... Python space examples is there. Okay, so we create it. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete that because we don't want to. I, I like to use the one that has the underscore. I already have a folder called Python project, so I theoretically could have done it there. All right, but at this point, we need to get into that folder. So it's, oh, let me get the caps lock off. CD, and then we're just going to do documents slash Python underscore examples. When I hit enter, if I did it right, it appears right here, and you can see that. Okay, so now we're in the Python examples folder. From here we type vim. Now we're in the vim editor. All right, notice this bottom corner here, it says nothing. If I start typing letters like th, it starts doing that, blinking. It looks really annoying. And then suddenly it goes, it says insert. Let me show you that one more time. I'm going to, oops, I'm going to hit escape and get out of here. Oh, I gotta go. QX. All right, let's do it one more time. Vim. All right, type S. Typing S puts you into insert mode. And then you can just do a Python command uh, print hello Vim. Hello Vim. All right, S allows me to edit. Then I type everything out. Notice the parentheses are highlighted. Not sure why it does it, but it does, so get used to it. So now you hit escape. Notice how the insert thing is now gone. You're going to do colon. You're going to do WQ for right quit. And you're going to type 01, sorry, 01. 
uh, hello world.py. List. When I type ls, it shows me 01 hello world. If I type dir, it does the same thing. LS works in git bash and so does dir, but in command line only dir works. And now I have the file to test it out. You just type python and then the name of the file. 01 hello underscore world.py and it actually runs python and now it says hello vim. Well, in this case it's git bash. Maybe I should have said that instead. Let's say I want to edit it. Vim. Now I want to go in and I'm going to type the 01 hello world.py. Now we're in there. I type s. Now let's print. Use my arrow. I'm going to say hello git bash. Hit escape. I'm out of insert mode. Colon wq. I already have this file. In fact, you can even see the file name is right there. That hello world.py. We can see the file name. We made a change, so we're going to do right quit wq. Make sure you add the colon. Bam, we're out. Now I'm going to run that command one more time that says Python, hello world, and now it says hello git bash. I like it. Good to go. Exit. We're done. Let's take a look at the program here. There it is, and that is what you're going to turn in on the Canvas website to illustrate you did what you did. I would also take a screen capture of maybe the Vim editor and or your command line and or git bash. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Thank you.